All right, let's talk about how to do something for the grand finale that could be kind of fun. So I'm going to put a cube here. And I'm going to select this and this. And I'm going to say that simulation generates hit events is set to true for both. You're going to find that under collision if you scroll down. So we're going to say that when this hits that, something is going to happen. The next thing I want to do is uh, create an event. So I'm going to go up here to my level blueprints, open level blueprints right click and I'm going to add an event collision on actor hit so that when this is hitting this something happens first off we got to check and make sure that this is the thing that's gonna hit it so I click on it drag it in here and we're gonna check and see if these are equal so if something else hits it it's not gonna do its thing if they are we're gonna do what's called a branch to check and if the condition is true, then we're gonna just, for now, just say print string hello. So let's hit play and see what happens. And you should see it pop up over here. Boom, it says hello. Okay, let's make this more exciting. We're gonna add an explosion. So go to your content drawer, find an explosion and just drag it right here. If we hit play, it'll start right away. So let's just turn off auto activate you can just search that up, activate, and just uncheck it. So now it's not going to activate. Drag your explosion into your code. If you can't find it, if you accidentally close it, it's under open level blueprints. We're going to delete the print string one. We're going to drag out here, actually drag out from this blue pin and type in activate. Activate particle system and then just connect those. Let's make it even more exciting. We're going to add a, uh, a little cone that goes on top here. Simulate physics on it. And I'm going to copy this cone's location and add a radial force and paste its location. And just move the radial force down below, maybe a little bit off to the side. Right now, it's probably not going to do anything. So make sure the radial force is force strength, not impulse strength, is set to really high, like 999. Let's try 99999, and then hit play. Let's add another 9. Boom. That's exciting. Okay. I'm going to pull it down a little bit so it's got a little less oomph. Cool. Once again, I want to make sure that this particle system, this radio, sorry, this radial force is not activated. So I'm going to uncheck auto activate, bring it into my code, activate it only when our code runs, and connect those together. Now we compile, save your code, and let's see what happens. That's our grand finale. And I want to see what it's going to look like in the game, if you want to keep watching. The end.